Welcome to Setup Mastery, your go-to channel for all things tech. Here, we explore the latest gadgets, unbox cutting-edge devices, and provide step-by-step -step installation guides to help you optimize your setup. Subscribe now and join our journey to master the art of perfect setups. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up the TP-Link RE220 Wi-Fi repeater. If you're struggling with weak Wi-Fi signals in certain areas of your home, this device can help extend your coverage and improve your internet experience. Let's start by unboxing the TP-Link AC750 Wi-Fi repeater. Inside, we have the repeater itself, the detailed user manual for guidance, and the essential power cable. Make sure to keep all these items handy as we move forward with the setup. Let's begin the setup process. First, identify an optimal location to plug in your repeater. Ideally, position the repeater about halfway between your router and the area where you need stronger Wi-Fi coverage. This ensures optimal signal boosting. Once you've identified the perfect spot, plug the repeater into a power outlet and wait for it to power on. Next, connect your smartphone, tablet, or computer to the repeater's default SSID, which is typically labeled as TP-Link underscore extender, or similar. This step allows your device to communicate with the repeater for further configuration. Open a web browser on your device and enter the default IP address for the repeater, which is typically 192.168.0.254. This will take you to the repeater's web-based management page, where you can proceed with the setup. Log in using the default username and password and then follow the on-screen instructions to select your Wi-Fi network and enter the password. After logging in with the default credentials, follow the on-screen instructions to connect the repeater to your home Wi-Fi network. This step-by-step -step process will guide you through the necessary configurations. For a simpler setup, you can use the WPS button. Start by pressing the WPS button on your router, then press the WPS button on the repeater. Wait a few moments for the connection to be established automatically without needing manual configuration. For optimal performance from your repeater, place it in a location where it can receive a strong signal from your router. Ideally, this spot should be free of obstructions and closer to the center of your desired coverage area. 